Looking at the income tax formula, we're focused on line two adjustments to income, which you might hear called above the line deductions or schedule one deductions. Remember, in the first half of the income tax formula, it's basically a funny income statement. Most income statements having income minus expenses resulting in net income. Here we have income minus various deductions resulting in taxable income. Deductions being good for taxes, therefore we're constantly looking to increase our deductions also keeping in mind the distinction between above the line deductions, the adjustments to income, and what I would call the below the line deductions, which are the greater of either the standard deduction or itemized deduction. If someone qualifies for the adjustments to income or the above the line deductions, they typically do not have to clear a threshold such as that standard deduction limit in order to take those deductions. Looking at the first page of the form 1040, we're on line number 10, the adjustments to income from schedule one. If we go to schedule one, part number two, that's where we have the adjustments to income. We're looking at these line items 13, which is the health savings account deduction, which is an attached form of 8889, moving expenses for members of the armed forces that has form 3903 first a word from our sponsor yeah actually we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers they don't want to be seen with us but but that's okay whatever because our merchandise is is better than their stupid stuff anyways like our cpa six pack shirts a must have for any pool or beach time. Mixing money with muscle, always sure to attract attention. Yeah, even if you're not a CPA, you need this shirt. So you can like pull in that iconic CPA six pack stomach muscle vibe, man. You know, that CPA six pack everyone envisions in their mind when they think CPA. Yeah, as a CPA, I actually and unusually don't have tremendous abs. However, I was blessed with a whole lot of belly hair. Yeah, allowing me to sculpt the hair into a nice CPA six-pack-like shape, which is highly attractive. Yeah, may maybe the shirt will help you generate some belly hair too. And if it does, make sure to let me know. Maybe I'll try wearing it on my head. A and yes, I know six-pack isn't spelled right, but three letters is more efficient than four, so I trimmed it down a bit, okay? It's an improvement. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. Deductible part of self-employment tax, which has a schedule SE, and then we have this self-employed SEP, simple, and qualified plans that will just touch on some of these items. And then, of course, you could dig into each of them in more detail. So contributions to a health savings account and hsa offer significant tax benefits and deductions now we talked about in prior presentations on the income side when possibly a distribution from an hsa might be taxable so now we're going to be touching on it 